Let's get back to it. We got to do that. Alternate way. It's empty now. What's that? Plundering prospects. Ah, uh, you won't need those. I'll find a way for us to get to Monkey Island. Hmm. <laughs> hey, Pop. Have you got any ideas on how to get to Monkey Island that don't involve a voodoo potion? My mind's a blank. I try to keep it that way if possible. Okay, we can finally go up. Things get more sophisticated every year. Would that we all did the same. Nice view up here. Sure. I'm just looking around for another way to get to Monkey Island. Be my guest. Hey, Flambe! Ship ahoy! It's Captain Madison! Ready the cannons! Don't worry about it. The Chuck already knows they're out there. Wait, never mind. Something's going on. They've got a cauldron on deck. That looks like a cinnamon stick. Mint, squid ink. Hey, wait a minute. I know that recipe. They didn't come to sink us. Those weasels are going to Monkey Island. Okay. They undercut my three, I mean, three woods expedition so they could claim the prize for themselves. You don't want to say that name out loud on this ship. Trust me. Why aren't they happier? A well-placed stab in the back is cause for celebration. Aha! They're missing a skull! We don't need a potion because they have one! Mm, what? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Make ready to sail. Do I look like a quartermaster to you? You sure don't look like one to me. I'll go talk to Iron Rose. This is gonna be great! If you say so, Swabby. another ship to Monkey Island. See, Captain Madison is just east of us right now. They're brewing the potion to go to Monkey Island. So? So I'm gonna help them finish it, and then we follow them. All I need to do is get them a skull somehow. Make ready to sail. No. We don't even want to go to Monkey Island. Golet gave us a perfect excuse to skip it, and now you're about to screw it up. Let's lock him in the hole. Whoa, hang on. I thought the whole point of this voyage was to go to Monkey Island. It was, but that was strictly LeChuck's idea. There's nothing on that island except for the secret. The secret doesn't split six ways. <clears throat> Seven. LeChuck only wants it because of his obsession with that stale glass of milk guy brush three board. I think you're making a mistake. Let's put it to a vote. Voting is supposed to be at one bell. Fair enough. The matter before the crew is the question of whether we should go to Monkey Island. I vote nay. 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 <clears throat> Aye. The vote to go has to be unanimous. It isn't. Meeting adjourned. <laughs> what? Wow. Unanimous? It means I had to convince each and every member of the crew to change their vote. Wow. Listen, about that trip to Monkey Island. That we voted against. Exactly. I want to try to persuade you to change your mind about it. Or if not your mind, then at least your vote. Good luck with that. I'm regretting hiring you right now. Uh, 
I could do you a favor in return. Win-win. That's how politics works, right? I don't bargain away my opinions and judgment for cash or favors, Swabby. I'm not for sale. I have a moral center. Uh, I've got one of those. It's just kind of small and off to the side. Like a hangnail. Let's hope it doesn't cause you any trouble in your career as a pirate. Mm, not so far. As quartermaster, it seems like you should be more loyal to LeChuck, who, I will point out, very much wants to go. I've been with LeChuck a long time. Exactly. In the beginning, I really admired the way he saw the world. Through a reddish haze of constant anger? I don't know. That's just it. I can't even remember what I found so inspiring. It makes it hard to follow his lead on a personal quest like the secret of Monkey Island. Oh. I still think you should vote to go to Monkey Island. I don't want to talk about that now. I'm having a crisis of faith about not being inspired by LeChuck to follow his lead. Okay. I'd like to discuss your vote on the Monkey Island issue. It's nay. I'm afraid going to Monkey Island doesn't really have anything in it for me. Wouldn't the change of scenery be nice? I've seen lots of scenery. How about I make it worth your while? Go on. I'll get you transferred to the other yard arm. I've been there. I prefer this one. Well, what would you be interested in? Well, I've got all I need, but I'm bored. We used to have an entertainment budget, but this fancy new ship is leveraged like crazy, so there are no frills anymore. Entertainment, you say? I'm sure I can come up with something. Entertainment is my middle name. <laughs> well, that's funny. Oh, I do like a good joke. They don't last very long, though. Bob, I confess I'm a little confused about what your job is. I mean, I know you hang up there all day, I'm just not sure why. As yard arm hanger, I serve as an example to the crew of what might happen if they break the rules. It's an important role, though admittedly not an exciting one. I'll probably do my shirt in a few weeks when it starts to get mossy. Can I give you a hand washing these plates? Nah, I already did those. That's held shut with a pretty sturdy piece of timber. You'd think on a ship there would be opportunity to change the water once in a while. You might want to change this water someday. Just a thought. It's not water. I'm marinating the plate scrapings for tomorrow's dinner. Ooh, I think I'll skip dinner tomorrow. <laughs> At first I thought the privy must be behind there, but no, it's just the pantry. It's hard to tell if those are for cooking or combat. It's cute that you think there's a difference. Yeah. Can I ask about that pepper shaker? It's demon pepper, made from demon peppers, which are basically the hottest peppers you can get. Do not, under any circumstances, put it on anything you intend to eat. I like spicy food. Not like this. Burns on the way in, burns on the way out. In between, burns. Can I borrow your demon pepper? No. It sounds like screaming, but really quiet. What's the soup of the day? Some former crew members who uh, didn't work out. Yikes. It's a delicacy. So, Putra. Chef, Putra, please call me Chef. Everybody does. They do? No, never. But they should. I'd like to try to sway you on the Monkey Island vote. 
Save your breath, I'm unswayable. There's only one opinion I value, and that's Iron Roses. She's the smartest one on the ship. Second smartest. Now that you mention it, I'm remembering that I said just last week that I'd always vote with Rose. So I'm gonna do that on this too. Whatever way Rose votes, that's how I'll vote. Thanks for reminding me. Oh. Did you know Gullet well? Sure. He and I were the only zombies in the crew until you came along. How did you become a zombie? Oh, the usual way. I was at the Culinary Academy at the time. At first, I thought I was having an allergic reaction to some strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? Me? Um... Yeah, I'm allergic to strawberries, too. Oh, I wasn't allergic. Can't stand them now, though, obviously. Uh, obviously. Haha. <laughs> uh, sometimes I forget I'm a zombie. I don't. Every time I try to get a decent cooking job at a restaurant or some swanky manor house, they say I'm too green, and they play it off like they're talking about experience level, but I know what they mean. Zombies need not apply. We don't want them rotting near the food. You must have experiences like that. They think all we want to do is eat brains. Which, to be honest, I do want. But not constantly. That's a terrible stereotype. What was Gullet like? Well, you'll have noticed he was a bit of a bully. Not at all. He didn't have much power or control in his life, and he was insecure about that. So he compensated by being domineering, vicious, and cruel whenever he had the opportunity. You don't say. But he had his good side. He wrote poetry. Nobody else knows that. He kept it a secret. He was always afraid someone would steal his ideas. Not that anyone would have. His poems were total garbage. <laughs> Anyway... You sure I can't change your mind on the Monkey Island issue? Yeah, I'm voting whatever way Rose votes. Okay. How come people don't call you Chef? Because they're a bunch of pedestrian clods who wouldn't know a great meal if it hit them in the mouth. Which, by the way, it often does, if you cook it right. Or wrong. But mainly it's because technically I am a cook, not a chef. It's a job title. Does a chef get paid more than a cook? Ah, I mean, yes, but on this ship, not enough to make a difference. It's the principle of the thing. So a chef is better than a cook? Not necessarily. I mean, a good cook makes better food than a lousy chef. But being a cook is mostly about mastery of materials and technique. Whereas a chef adds artistry, improvisation, and innovation. Anyone who's tasted my boiled monkfish and haggis dumplings should agree that I deserve that title. So a chef outranks a cook? Yeah. Of course, on a ship this size, I'd still be the only one making food, so that part doesn't mean anything. It's just about the recognition. Have you tried to get a promotion? Only about a dozen times. I keep the written request handy, complete with case studies and cost-benefit analysis. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this. But LeChuck refuses to sign it. Management. <laughs> yeah. I'll let you get back to cooking. Yeah. Putra makes a compelling case for promotion. Why don't I see if I can make some headway with your promotion? I think LeChuck likes me. <laughs> sure, knock yourself out. If nothing else, we'll all get some entertainment out of it. Uh, Flair? Yes? Can we talk about your vote on going to Monkey Island? No. Oh, come on. There must be something I can do for you. Something you want? Nothing you can give me. Try me. Okay, fine. Earlier today, I lost my grandmother's whale knife. It was a gorgeous heirloom. 
I treasured it. And now it's gone. Bring me the knife, and I'll vote for your stupid plan. Great. Can you tell me where and when you last saw it? It was sticking out of Gullet's back. Right after I stabbed him with it. Probably still there. Will it chuck through Gullet over the side? Yep. Joke's on you, Swabby. <laughs> and I guess on me, too. Now beat it. I'm busy. More importantly, is the taste of after chicken the same as the aftertaste of chicken? I have to say, I thought you were gone for good. I was feeling no small amount of pleasure about it, in fact. It'll take more than a bath to get rid of old Gullet. Now pull me out of here before I hang you by your own intestines, Swabby! Well, it's actually first Swab now. What is? Me! The Chuck gave me your job. You! Not likely. I do prefer a management role. Less scrounging, more lounging. I'm gonna give your pancreas to my rat for a pillow! You might want to take a friendlier tone. This is my friendly tone, you blabbering pile of excrement! I can hold my breath for ten minutes, more or less. How about you? Well, technically, I don't have to breathe at all. But it's a reflex, isn't it? You can't really stop doing it. But it feels like we're drowning the whole time. So get me out of here right now, you colossal git! I'm the only one who knows you're down here. Not true. I know I'm down here, don't I? I guess you've got me there. Ah. If I leave you here, do you think you can free yourself? Of course not. You think I haven't tried that already? It's a matter of leverage. As in, I'm gonna get a lever and smack you in the head with it if you don't get me out of here right now. Once we set sail, you'll probably be crushed into paste by the rudder. Why would you tell me that? Well, in case you're worried about being stuck for a long time. When I get my hands on you, I'm gonna eat both your legs, throw them up, and then eat them all over again! It would be smart of me not to give you the opportunity, then. Nice talking to you, Gullet. What do you mean, nice talking to you? Oh, I don't mean it literally, of course. Just politely ending our conversation. Wait, no, no, get, get me out of here for pity's sake! You baboon! I get you for this! He's pretty securely pinned there by the rudder. There's also a knife in his back, but that's clearly not why he's stuck. <laughs> that's Flair <laughs> Gory's grandmother's whale knife. It's a beauty. You clown. That isn't gonna do any good. It wasn't even bothering me. Flair Gory's grandmother's whale knife. Putra makes a compelling case for promotion. I found your knife. My grandmother's knife. Thanks, Swabby. I have no idea how you pulled that off, but I guess a deal's a deal. I'll vote for your stupid plan. Here. You be new to my ship. 
I like to meet each of my crew. What's your name, Swabby? Swabby is fine. Any questions? None? Good. I like an unquestioning crew. Now, get back to work before I use your entrails as bait. Wait! Um... Don't forget the keel hauling tomorrow at four. I like to think of it as a team building exercise. I won't. Shouldn't ye be swabbing? Is this about a promotion for Putra again? I've told her a hundred times I'm never going to sign that. One more thing, Swabby. Now that you be first swab, you'll be needing to fill out the Swabby report. Take this report, fill it out, and give it to Iron Rose for her initials. Some say it's Grog that keeps a pirate ship running. It's not. It's paperwork. Looks like they haven't figured out their skull problem yet. Good. Working hard? Never. What's the book? It's a book of underworld jokes. Jokes from beyond the pale. <laughs> Unheard of in this world. Underworld jokes, you say? Any good? Hilarious. Would you describe that book as entertaining? I would use a shorter word, but yes. Think you'll be done reading soon? No, I don't really have anything else to do. Let's talk about your vote on going to Monkey Island. Are there any particular favors I can do for you? I don't know a lot about your interests. My main interests are sleeping and eating. I try to do both as much as possible. Do you have a favorite food? Oh, yes. Scorched Alaska. Salty like widow's tears. Sweet like revenge. And fiery like a hot poker to the tongue. Sounds good. Exquisitely painful, yes. How do you make Scorched Alaska? I don't. I have someone else make it. Uh, professionally possible. There are safety concerns. Remind me how you make Scorched Alaska? I engage a professional. Keep up the bad work. Always. That looks like a permanent stain. Yeah, smells worse than it looks. Why couldn't they lock? Oh, they gotta put this on. Disgraceful. Ghost rats. Ugh. These open plan offices are all the rage now.
it would take forever to itemize in here. I'll just make a blanket entry for the whole galley. It's revolting, and it's a slipping hazard. added this to my report. Yep, thought so. Right. Hey, Gullet. I'm assuming no one will actually read this and come down here to find him. That's it. I've completed my report. I should show it to Iron Rose. Can I get you anything? You can tell whoever's been turning the ship's wheel to knock it off. I could lose a leg or something. I'll be sure to pass that along. Good to know. Let's turn that wheel and get his leg lost. this report, please? Huh. Yes. Very thorough. See? I am good at my job. I wouldn't go that far. Here. I've got a bunch of other reports ready for the captain's signature. Why don't you take him the whole stack? waiting for LeChuck's signature. Big brain. What? What do you want, Swabby? Why exactly are you trying to find the secret of Monkey Island? The secret of Monkey Island has tormented many a pirate. Some believe it doesn't exist, that it's just a myth or a joke concocted by a fool. None has been more obsessed over it than that idiot Guybrush. Me? I think it holds a mystical power to be harnessed for evil. And as an added bonus, it will drive Threepweed over the edge of madness. Threepwood. Wood. With two O's. What was your name again? Uh, Swabby. With two B's. Mind if I take a look at that map you were waving around earlier? Don't touch the map. That be the one true map to the secret of Monkey Island. Procured by me at great expense and no small amount of trouble. So I'll not have you touching it, even with your eyeballs. <laughs> Leastwise, not while they still reside in your skull. I may have figured out a way to get to Monkey Island. I spotted another ship making a potion, and we can just follow them. What does that nameplate say? The one there, 
on my desk. It says LeChuck. And LeChuck is a leader, not a follower. Now get out of here so I can think! Paperwork? Okay, hand it over. All stamped. Now please give me some peace and quiet. What do you think you're doing, Swabby? Back where you belong. What do you think you're... It's Chef Putra's request for promotion, stamped by LeChuck. Good news, Chef Putra. You're officially promoted. I'm a chef! Chef Putra! <laughs> Thanks, Swabby. You're amazing. I owe you one. So, Chef. You sure I can't change your mind on the Monkey Island issue? I do owe you one, but I'm still voting whatever way Rose votes. Okay. I don't suppose you know how to make Scorched Alaska? Of course I can make Scorched Alaska. I have to warn you though, not to try to eat it. Because of the demon pepper? Mostly. You've still got a fair amount of your face left. It'd be a shame to melt it off prematurely. Is she making it? Yep. Some chefs these days use dandruff out of a can. But I would never take a shortcut like that. One scorched Alaska made to order. Be careful with it. And like I said, don't try to eat it. Thanks. Save it here. And then next episode, we will try to eat the scorched Alaska to see what happens. And then give it to a flambe. Alright, guys. <laughs> next episode, continue on.